Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, today I'm going to do a what I got for my birthday haul. I know some people hate this kind of video because it's bragging. I personally love this kind of video. I always watch when my friends put up this what I got for Christmas, what I got for my birthday. So if you don't like this kind of video, click off. Um, so now it's just the people that like this. <laughs> I'm not going to show you everything because yeah, some of it I've already drunk, some of it I've already eaten, and some of it I've already spent. Um, I got um, champagne and chocolates, and um, some family members gave me money because they knew I wanted we were going away and I was going to go do some shopping. Halls to follow, and I got gift vouchers. And yes, and the other thing that I don't have here to show you, but I really want to, is um, one of my very dear friends, Michelle, got me um, a little badge and um, it's got Mr Darcy on it and it's cut out, it's from Etsy um, and it's basically a wooden, it's wooden heart and then a, they've cut the page off of, out of a copy of Pride and Prejudice which is one of my all-time favourite books and my all-time favourite TV programmes to watch uh, I like Colin Firth as Mr Darcy he will always be my Mr Darcy anyway, Michelle bought me that it is on my cardigan in John's car, um, and John's not here, he's at work. So I will do a close up of that and put it over all this rambling at some point. I don't know where to begin, so let's do the closest thing. This is my new dog. <laughs> um, some of you may be aware, if you watch the vlogs, I really would like a Whippet or an Italian Greyhound. Um, I'd really like a full size Greyhound and an Irish Wolfhound, but our house is too small. Uh, five year plan. When we move, I'll be able to get more dogs. In the meantime, I've got this one. I really like him. My niece, Rachel, got him for me. He's called Nedard. Um, Kirsty, I think you'll appreciate that name. I don't know if anyone else will. But yes, we've named him Nedard. I really like him. I like his face. He's like proper whip it with the uh, ribcage showing. But yes, I love him. Love him. Okay, I got a couple of things from Lush. One of my nieces got me a hoppity boppity. Love it. My birthday is Easter Sunday, or it was Easter Sunday this year, so obviously there's a lot of Easter things about. The other one I got was um, Bubble Grub. Now he's been a bit battered in the bag, so I don't really want to handle him. But it's a bubble bar. His eye has fallen off, or one of his eyes has fallen off. Basically, he's a caterpillar. Um, again, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know, and you've watched the vlog channel, you'll know that um, I have a thing about caterpillars, and my family do as well, and we find it quite funny. Not, I'm not scared of them, but I have a... I like them. I like... I like caterpillars. <laughs> Um, the next thing I have is this frame. I've got my screen flip, so I'm rather sure this is going to show up as backwards, but um, obviously this is a picture of Darwin Gilly. My sister um, cross-stitched this, and it basically says, Wanted for stealing my heart. Answer to Darwin and Gilly. Last scene, hogging the bed. Caution, looking into eyes will cause puppy love. And she's like, she handmade that herself. I think that's really clever. Really clever. And I like Love it. Um, I got this beautiful scarf which has hounds on and obviously it's in blue and I only seem to wear red, white and blue of late and it's massive, it's like, it's huge and I love big ass scarves. Um, I also got a very, a very, ooh, I also got another scarf which is a light blue colour and some very lovely big flowers on but I don't know where it is. If I find it, I'll put a picture of it over this rambling. <laughs> the next thing is a tea caddy. Um, me and John drink a lot of tea, um, and it's one so you can see from the top which tea you want. But what makes this so special is my mum hand painted this. How clever is she? So yes, I think it's beautiful. So yes. I think she just bought like the wooden box, so I'm relatively sure she lined it all with Kath Kitson paper. And yes, then 
hand painted it. So no one else in the world has one like this. So it's extra special. I love presents like that. It just means, oh, it just means so much. Um, oh. Then I've got this box that looks a bit like a handbag. And open it up. It has got some Wilkinson's bath bombs. This is the rhubarb. No, it's strawberry and pomegranate. Yummy. And this is the blueberry and grape, which I also really like. And then I have a thing about white love heart sweets. So my sister got me some love hearts. And I really wanted to try this. And I kept on saying to my sister, I can't find it anywhere. It's never in. This is the Argan Oil Hand and Nail Cream. Um, it's not very expensive, but every time I went to the 99p shop or the pound shop or all the normal places where you think you'd get this, they never had it in stock. So my sister found me some. She also got me a stash of um, salted caramel green tea. And then I really like owls. Pretty much all birds, but owl, owls and robins are my favourite. So she got me this owl necklace and then she also got me the deluxe edition body shop um oh chocomania i wish you could smell it it's just like oh it's beautiful it's like for really dry skin which i only really get dry skin on my legs when i shave them but I will coat my entire body in this and I will smell like a chocolate drop. Oh, that's so good. So, so good. Um, I've got a caterpillar toy because that's how we roll in my family. Um, the next box, this is from Sass and Bell and it's a little trinket pot with a little white bird on. I just think that's beautiful. One thing I was super excited about that I got was the shampoo and conditioner. It is the original mane and tail and body shampoo and the moisturising, texturiser conditioner. I have wanted to try this stuff for so long. You can't buy it like in the shops in the UK, but you can get it in like Amazon and eBay and stuff. Um, yes, it is made for horses. Um, now, some of the reviews I have seen on this is crazy, like really crazy growth and not just length but thickening. Now, my hair grows quite long quite quickly, but it's very thin, so anything that can make my hair thicker, I'm prepared to give a go. I will be doing a proper review on these, but I want to kind of use it for like a month before I do so. But yeah, really happy about those. Next item. That one is interested in. Um, I believe, yes, this is from Sass and Bell as well. It goes along with the other little pot. It is just like, oh, come on. Do you think that's cute? This is like for your little special trinket. So this is going to go live by the sink. Um, so I can pop my wedding ring and engagement ring in there while I'm doing the dishes. But yes, I just thought it was beautiful. Beautiful. The next thing I have is a new teacup and saucer. I drink a lot of tea. Look, the pinky instantly goes up, which is actually really common. <laughs> but I just thought it is really pretty. I love the colouring on it. But yes, I love a good cup of tea. A very lovely friend of mine sent me or got me this colouring in book. It is the gorgeous colouring book for grown ups. Um, she knew how much I loved my Reckless journal, and she has one of these, and she just thought I'd really enjoy it. It's just got lots of very pretty patterns in, and you can colour them in. Not for everybody, it's not everybody's taste. I enjoyed this kind of thing. So, yes, a friend that knows me very well got me that. Um, another lovely friend got me this book, um, which 
It's practically made for me, but I'm, I was so surprised when I opened it because I've never heard of it. It's called Homemade Beauty, 150 simple beauty recipes made from all natural ingredients by someone called Annie Stroll. Um, and if I just like open it up, it's like um, apple cider vinegar and lemon hair rinse, um, uh, avocado shampoo, tea tree zip eraser, lemon and honey blackhead eraser. These are all things I'm going to try and if I like them, they may appear on the channel. Um, but it's very me, very beauty and makeup but natural ingredients. So I'm, um, I just, yeah, again, a very good friend knew who knew me very well. I got a giant candle because obviously I burn a lot of candles, I love candles. Um, does anyone else tell me to do this, put presents in boxes? Mine? Is it just mine? Can you spend forever trying to open it up? <laughs> okay, so I can you hear that noise? That's gilly. Yeah. Um I am a bit over the top when it comes to what the dogs eat. Um I know that and I think if I ever have children I'd probably be really bad about what they eat as well. Um, I really want to start making the dogs homemade dog treats rather than shop bought ones because I like to know they're not eating any rubbish. Um, so yes, and I was discussing this with my mum that I wanted to start making homemade dog treats. And yes, I can't really see this very well on camera. It is a cookie stamp, um, but basically it cuts out cookies and in a heart shape and it actually imprints the word homemade on them so not only will Darwin and Gilly have homemade cookies but they will be very cute as well. The, oh and this is from Sassenbel. This is also from Sassenbel. It's a little heart and it says always my daughter forever my friend so that was from my mum obviously. Um, oh, my mum's so cute. Oh, what else do we have in here? I have a nail shaver. Um, I don't know if I would use this on my fingernails because I'm quite, I like them a certain way. But I think this is mainly for like toenails because you can't really file them because it's awkward. So I'm assuming that's what they're for. Um, get wrapped up in tissue paper. This is so pretty. I have it's like a sparkly vase with a sparkly rose candle. It's one of those things though with this. I always feel really bad if I'd ever burn it, so it'll just stay like this forever. Or oh, maybe I need to be strong. Maybe I need to be strong and, and it's a very delicate rose scent to it. But it's so pretty, I never want to burn this kind of candle. Pop back over there, and now I'm covered in glitter. And the last thing, and this is from my mum, is, again, it's a candle in a beautiful glass jar that I will never burn because my mum has painted on the candle so that's how clever she is I just I wish I had her artistic skill so yes she has hand painted a rose on a candle so yes never to be used but it looks very pretty and that is everything I think I'm going to show you I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up also, before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and on this channel and on the vlog channel. Um, it meant a lot. My phone went crazy on my birthday. It literally, it, I got that many notifications, my battery died like really quickly. <laughs> but it was okay because I had, I had um, a charger with me, but... Yeah, it was very overwhelming and I felt very loved. Um, yes, that is the end of my rambling. 
thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you very soon. Bye guys!